this nice tall dark handsome man muscular built with nice teeth smooth skin girl that that was that's this this is what they said honey i love you these are not my words i'm telling a story i'll never snitch on you daddy I'll hold a brick for you, daddy. Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you. So today we are doing a seafood boil mukbang. I have some Dungeness crabs here. For today's drink, I'm doing a Fentiman's Rose Lemonade. I had some leftover already, child. This is really good though. I got this from home goods but they also sell it at um total wine it doesn't have any alcohol in it but i do like to um add this like to my rose wine because i'm fancy period all right let me say grace amen hey y'all happy monday i know y'all miss me <laughs> Yeah, y'all, this is really good. Oh, I forgot to grab a bowl to put my shells in, but we're going to have to make it work. So I do have a story time. It's from For My Man. I'll have the link in the description box so y'all can watch this foolishness for y'all self, okay? So let me take my first bite real quick. And then we're going to get this thing rolling. Mm. If you guys are new to my channel, Dungeness Crab is one of my favorite crabs. So good. Blue Crab is my Favorite, favorite, okay. But I love seafood, period. So this is a seafood mukbang channel. Those of you that knew that's asking me to do, you know, tacos and spaghetti and no, okay. <laughs> Okay, so girl, there was this girl named, what are we gonna call her? We're gonna call her Dolly. Okay. So Dolly, she had a few kids. from a bunch of different relationships. Every time she meets somebody, she falls in love. Hopefully y'all don't hear my fan. I have my fan on cause it's hot in here. But every time she meets somebody, she falls in love, end up getting pregnant and the fool walk out on. She worked at like a little diner. She had a small little house. And she had kids anywhere from knee high to like in twin in their twenties. So the twenty year old, you know, he was supposed to take care of the house and the kids while she was out, you know, trying to make her money at the diner. She come home, house a wreck, child. You know, mattresses and stuff on the floor because they had to like bring mattresses and stuff up front because they didn't. You know, they didn't have enough room in the place that they were living in. Mm. So, girl. Well, I know that it's guys that watch my mukbangs too. But when I'm telling my stories, I just be so into it. And it's just like me and my girlfriends having crafts. We gossiping. We having our little drinks. You know, so get into the vibe. Okay? Because my husband be saying that too. Cause he listened to my mukbangs when um, he listened to my story times when he's at work. So I just be in the moment, y'all. 
So be like my husband and when we having our girl talk, he in the back like, what? So what happened with? <laughs> Not for him, be like <laughs> I'm just joking. So So after a while, you know, she finally saved up enough to move into a bigger place. And everybody was happy. It was more than enough room. And you know, like I say, everybody's happy. The landlord decides to come by the house. It's Mr. Henry. But Mr. Henry brings his nephew with him, Tyrone. Why he brought his nephew with him, I have no idea. So, honey, when Dolly seen Tyrone, this nice, tall, dark, handsome man, muscular built, real nice teeth, smooth skin. Girl, that that was that's this this is what they said, okay? These are not my words. Honey, I love you. These are not my words. This, this is what they show on the show. Okay? I'm telling a story. Get into it. So mm, they flirting with each other a little bit. Mr. Henry coming over there to make sure. You know, she got first and last month's rent. He's strictly business and Tyrone over there trying to fool around. So, girl, next thing you know, Dolly and Tyrone, they're a couple. He coming over to the house. He like the kids. The kids like him. Dolly real happy. But Tyrone don't got no job. Tyrone don't got nobody job, okay? So, not only is Tyrone on an unemployment list, This fool is a ladies man, okay? Now this is the part that tripped me out. So, he got Dolly, but then the other lady that he was messing with, Jolene, I hope that ain't go over your head. Dolly Parton and Jolene, but y'all, don't let it go over your head. Poor oh, girl. Jolene, she is older. So Dolly is like a little thundercat and Jolene is a whole cougar. Like she is a cougar out here in these streets. And I'm thinking like when I first saw it, I thought that Jolene was Dolly grandma. I'm not lying. She was an older lady, but she was holding her own honey, but she was older. So they out on the town shopping. That's, you know, that's her boo. So they didn't, he don't have no car either. So in order for them to shop around, they had to get on several different buses. Girl, it was a hot mess, a whole mess. So, honey, Jolene was looking extra good that day. She had a little tight jeans on. I'm not lying, I am gonna insert a clip. She had a tight jeans on. And Tyrone was ready. So Tyrone was like, well, you know, I got a little spot we can go to because I can't wait because you looking thicker than a snicker. And I can't wait. Girl, how you do? Is there any more room for me in those jeans? Is what he wanted to ask. Like, he couldn't, he couldn't handle it. So he was like, okay, well, I got a little spot we can go back to the house. So Jolene, ain't, she ain't asked no questions, honey. They went in that house. They didn't even make it to the bedroom. They was on the couch. Now she is an older lady, okay? Honey. So they, you know, getting their little foreplay on. 
sweating hard, breathing hard. Y'all know how they do on the movies, sweating, breathing, trying to rip each other's clothes off, whatever. On this lady couch. They on, um, on Dolly couch. So before she can bend it over, bust it wide, Tyrone hears the car door, Dolly home, right? So he snatches Jolene up and they run downstairs to the basement. So when they run down to the basement, oh, Jolene, she heated. She like, well, what's going on? What house is this? You have in another lady house? Like, she's just going in. Now, Dolly don't know what's going on because she can't hear them. She just came in to change her clothes. She was only up there for like two minutes. But I guess Tyrone didn't know why she was coming home and how long she was going to be there. Tell me why this fool decides Jolene being a little too rowdy, okay? He puts his arm around her neck, like, you know what I'm saying, standing behind her like this with his hand over her mouth. And end up killing the lady. Okay, cause she can't breathe, she older. She can't breathe. So girl, now, Darlene, oh, I'm talking about Darlene. So now, Jolene on the floor. Darlene left out the house for work, so they could have went down there and role played or whatever they had to do and, and brought it back on up. But he decides that he's trying to, he had to keep up quiet. But I don't think he meant to do that, but he did it. So now he lost and confused, naked and afraid. He don't know what he gonna do. He texts Dolly and he tells her, I need your help. So he didn't tell her right away what was going on. He just told her, I done got into a little bit of trouble. And if you don't help me, I'm going to jail. So what Dolly said, I'll never snitch on you, daddy. I'll hold a brick for you, daddy. <laughs> That's city girl, y'all. Some of y'all don't know nothing about that, but. So girl, he was like, well, I need you to see if you can get somebody truck. She was like, okay, let me see what I can do. And I'll be there in about 30 minutes. So one of her coworkers let her hold the truck. She went to the house. She saw Jolene on the floor. She goes into a panic. She like, what the heck happened? Like, who is this woman? Like, what's going on? So. He was like, she tried to break us up and things just got out of hand. So she was like, I need, he was like, I need you to help me figure out what we're going to do with the body. She ended up calling one of her family members over there to get the kids. So she started cutting the, the lady fingernails. Because, of course, the lady was scratching him and stuff like that. He had scratches and stuff on his face because she was trying to break free. So, she cut the fingernails off and still couldn't. You know, they were still, like, didn't know how they was going to get the body out. So, they decided to go to a bar, have a couple of beers, throwing a couple back, and walked his cousin. So, he dapping his cousin up. He was like, hey, homie, like, I need you to help me with something. So, his cousin was like, all right, you know, I got you, whatever. He get to the house. He see the lady laying down on the floor. So, he like, well, what the heck y'all got going on up in here? 
So he started helping, you know, clean up around her. Cause I think when she fell, she hit her head. So it was like some blood on the floor. So he was helping wipe up the blood, but then he was like, you know what? I don't want to have nothing to do with this. I'm not helping y'all lift nobody up and put them in no car and getting rid of nobody. I'm not, I'm out of here. Okay. I'm out of here. So they decide, Dolly and Tyrone, they decide they're going to wrap her up in a shower curtain and put her in the car. They drove a little ways from the house and dumped her on the side of the road and set her on fire. Of course, a neighbor noticed the fire, called the police. And you can, you can see exactly what it was. So, it's all over the news now. They don't have any evidence. It's all over the news about this woman that was just found on the side of the road burnt. So Dolly couldn't take it anymore. She went to the police station with the, she had on the same bloody clothes that she had on from um, the night before. And she went in and she told him everything. She told the police she didn't have anything to do with it. He just called her and told her that he needed some help and she was scared so she helped him. So they're looking for Tyrone. When they finally find Tyrone, they had both of them down at the station at the same time, but in separate rooms side by side. The walls were really, really thin. So while they interviewing Tyrone and he putting it all on Dolly saying that Dolly knew about Jolene and she wanted him to herself so she wanted him to take her out. So Dolly hear all this foolishness that this fool in there telling them. The detectives decided to take them face to face and interview them together. Honey when Dolly got in that room she was screaming, cussing, sweating, trying to fight them and everything. She was like, you gonna really do this to me and my kids? You gonna really do this to me and my kids? So then Dolly said, okay, well, since you wanna lie, his cousin was there too. They contact the cousin. They work out a deal with him and tell him, if you tell us everything you know, because you were there, we'll work out a deal with you. The cousin told him everything and they ended up arresting all of them. Dolly got seven years. Um, Tyrone got life. And then the cousin, he got two years in prison and then two years on probation. Mm -hmm. Crazy, right? And last night, I got caught up on Pea Valley. Honey. That rapper dude and um, Uncle, uh, what's his name? Here? Uncle somebody. Girl. But I'm a little confused because I think I need to go a few episodes back because I don't understand why the new girl, I can't think of her name, not Mercedes, but well, she ain't a new girl, but um, the new light skinned girl. Why is she, who is she transferring that money to? Uh, like what's going on with that situation? Cause I'm a little confused on what's going on with that. So um, I think I, I might've missed the episode when she started doing that. I'm confused. So if y'all watch P Valley, y'all let me know in the comments. Why is Miss Pretty Little Thing sending them? Who she sending the money to? Because I remember the last, the last episode that I watched, 
it was a guy in the hotel and he could see the transactions. So, and I think that episode was called Belly. So y'all let me know, child. The last episode was when um, she bailed Mercedes out of jail. So y'all let me know. Cause I'm so confused. Okay guys, so I hope you're done eating if you're eating with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the next two videos at the bottom of the screen and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye y'all.